Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to do a review on the Upper Baby Vista. This is a 2015 model. The newer ones are very similar, there's only a few adjustments, but I'm just going to show you a brief overview on the features on this pram. So it is a single pram that converts into a double pram. I will show you how, you, how to do that later. But let's just go over, I guess, the features of the seat for the moment. So we have a beautiful hood that is so large, plus it has this extra UV that can be, UV can be that can pulled out down here and just pop straight in like that so easily. It has mesh up here, which is a peekaboo window and can also work as an air vent, which is really cool, allowing air into the seat. This just can, this can be rolled up if you want it to stay up or it magnifies it down, which is really cool. Again, huge hood, it's an awesome hood. Then we come into our seat. We have a five point harness that breaks away really easily if you just tug on it. But if you don't want it to come away, it will stay in there nice and tight. It is a cool feature. Sometimes it um, can be annoying if you want it just to completely all break apart. It has the best little button on the belly bar. It is so easy to press that button. It just, I love it. It's so easy, so convenient. Tiny little button that you press. And then this is a swivel belly bar, so it can be um, put out of the way over here. And it can completely come off, of course, with both buttons being pressed. There's two buttons here to adjust the footrest, so it goes all the way down and all the way up and can stop at multiple positions in between, which is a really cool feature. And of course you can get all of these vibrant colors for the Upper Baby Vista, which is nice. While we're here and we have the frame at the top, we have an adjustable handle bar, which you have multiple positions to choose. And that is one handed, which is really nice. There is a small pocket at the back where you can put some of your things in. To remove the seat, you press the two buttons either side with my thumb and I use my hands to grab the belly bar and then I lift the seat off. It does face forward and when it faces uh, you, when it faces you, I think there's five reclines and when it faces forward, I believe there's four reclines. It also sits up pretty straight as well. So here is the bassinet. And we have it on the high adapters, which is fine. I will explain that in a minute. The bassinet has two buttons inside here, which will recline the hood. So it has a few positions on the way down. I'm not a fan of that. It kind of annoys me that I have to press two buttons to take the hood off. But at the same time, it is an actual carry handle, so I can see why they need that structure in place. You can also pull out the UV shade from in here, and it covers right down. It does have mesh on either side as well. If you unzip the back here that's already unzipped, you can lift this up. And there is a mesh window to allow air to circulate through the bassinet. If you wanted to zip that back up so that it was warmer. And to pop the UV shade away, you literally just put it back in there like that. And just fit the wire where it kind of goes. There we go. The boot cover or apron zips on very easily or off. And then you can see the beautiful fabrics on the inside. It's very nice and soft. Comes with a bassinet. If you want to know how to wash this perm, I have made a video on that already. And that will show you how to remove all of the inside textiles of the bassinet. To remove the bassinet off, there is a button up here, it's a slide and push, and then you can lift the bassinet off like that. It is a really nice feature to have that. So right now this pram is in double mode. If I wanted to change it to single mode, I would just come down here, 
and I would flick this oops, clip forward and then I would remove this little latch and put it in behind and then I would simply wiggle off this adapter so you can do that on both sides and now the frame looks much neater and tidier these are also adapters that push the seat up higher so they can be removed like this and then your seat can be placed here if you wanted to have your seat or your bassinet sitting higher and closer to you you can use these in single mode that's the right way with let's say our bassinet let's put our bassinet up here and it's much closer to the parent and higher compared to if we have it off so we'll take these ones off place our bassinet back on and then the bassinet sits lower into the frame and takes up more of the frame but up is a little bit further away from you and you have to bend down a little bit versus back up here. This bassinet is one of the only bassinets that I know of. There may be more now. This special um, piece built into it so that you can actually sleep a baby in here overnight. So most pram bassinets are not designed for you to sleep your baby in it overnight, whereas the Upper Baby Vista has this special vent on the bottom allowing you to do just that. To see the seat on the frame while it's in its single mode, it will look like that. It's up to you if you have the handle up or down. I'm short, so I would use it down. Um, up is a little bit high to me unless I wanted to lean on it. But then when you adjust the seat, when it's facing forward, your hand gets a little bit caught and you have to go underneath to continue the recline process, which isn't that much of a pain, but it's a little bit annoying. Coming down to see the basket, this basket is absolutely huge. There is so much space or oh, so much in there and even having the second seat on the front doesn't really take much space away from your basket because it sits forward on here. So I'm going to place these adapters back on. Notice that, whoops, notice that there is a, an orange dot and a blue dot and that is color coded for which side of the pram that you put it on. So this is the orange one, and there is an orange dot on this side, and there is a blue dot on this side. Then we can put our seat back on. There is a bit of a con about this pram that this is a full size seat that sits up the top here, but if you wanted a second seat for the front of the pram, you have to buy what they call a rumble seat, which is a smaller size seat. Basically, it looks very similar, but it's a little bit smaller and the footwell doesn't adjust. So it doesn't um, move up and down like this one here does. I'll just place these adapters back on. Again, blue, which means that I need to find, that's the orange dot, so this is the blue dot. So blue goes on this side. When you purchase this pram, I believe they do a package with the top seat and the bassinet, meaning that you have one baby, you put them in the bassinet. As they grow a little bit older, they go into the seat. If you do have a second baby, you can start again, use the bassinet. However, there is only a limited time until you will need to swap the bassinet for the rumble seat, which is approximately another $300 to put that on the front. Plus, if you don't have 
these adapters for here, the top and bottom adapters, I believe they're approximately $100 so that you can turn it into a double mode like we have here. They are also pretty good to be used in single mode as well so that you can have bar, bar up higher for you. You can see that we have most of our basket down there even with the bassinet on the front and of course if you have the rumble seat it can face forward and then leave you even more basket space down the bottom as well. These wheels are four foam filled wheels that push beautifully. It's really nice to push. To apply the brake, there is a green window right now because the brake is off. If I was to apply that brake, all I do is press it once and then there is a red window there. Everything's locked in. Press again, it's green. So to lock the front wheels, you just press this button down on both sides and they will lock into place. When you're ready to unlock your wheels, again, press them. Oops. And they are free to move again. To remove the front wheels, there is a small gray uh, slide button that you slide to the side and then you can remove your wheel on the front and for the back. Just press that big button in and slide the wheel off. If you're wondering how to wash this pram or the combinations of the seats on this pram, I do have another video on both of those things. It can take a capsule, you have to buy your adapters separately. Basket, oh. The basket I forgot to mention has two nice big pockets, so definitely like for a big drink bottle or something like that and maybe you could even pop your keys in there, so that is a nice feature. Let's show you the fold. I don't like to fold prams with the seat on, so I'm not even going to bother to show you, especially with a double pram and with the seats facing me. So I'm going to take this one off, this one as well. I can leave these adapters there for folding, that is totally fine. I'm going to make the handlebar as small as possible. And then I've got these two grey leathers that all I'm going to do is literally pull them up and push my handle down. And it is going to fold up really nice. If you apply the brake, you can stand it on the wall or on something so it doesn't fall over. If not, I would be very cautious about the two adapters that are here. I would probably even consider taking these off to put it in the car that way so that they didn't get there. like that and leave these bottom ones on just that they're a little bit more work to put on but if you wanted to leave them these other adapters on that would also work I just would rather try and not break them <laughs> that's fine and even if you can stand it up in your car that works too I do appreciate that you don't have to like lift the frame at all to unfold the frame here is the grey uh, locking mechanism in here, so I press that inwards and all I do is lift the handle and it's just going to walk itself out. You can't fold a pram with the bassinet on, you can fold this pram with the seat on in single mode I believe, so I will take these adapters off, I will face the seat forward. And then I'll show you the fold. So two levers. Oh, I didn't think it was going to lock in. And there's your fold. You can adjust this all the way down like that as well. It's not a terrible fold like that. I don't like that it doesn't stand up or it just wants to kind of go. I understand that the brakes not on, but it just. Yeah, it doesn't want to stand any way, shape or form. But it can be folded with the seat on. I wouldn't fold it with any more than the one seat on. Another neat function that I think I accidentally skipped ahead was oopsies, on the sides where the bassinet clips on, there is actually some green windows and red windows when it is not attached properly. So it's red when it's not connected and as soon as it connects in properly it goes green. I hope that you enjoyed this review on the, 
on the Upper Baby Vista. Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize that I have to go out like this. I have no storage left. So if you want to see any other videos on this pram, I have others on my channel. I have how to wash it and I have uh, the combinations. Here's just an up close view of it. It is a really lovely pram and I would definitely consider it if it was in your budget compared to some other prams that are on the market. See you in my next video. Bye.